This match is brought to you by... Lun Music Media Consulting. RNS Contracting. WriterRadioRocks.com. No love lost, certainly, between the unpredictable RJ and the He's going to come out here right now. He's right here, Alexander the Fake. These guys right here. These guys right here are cheaters. Like they're tra- they're cheaters right here. Look at them. These cheaters. Like look at them. He's like just not cool. Like I just don't like this guy at all. Like you've been at opposite ends of the ring with Alexander the Great as well, and uh, he is kind of uh, an X factor in this upcoming matchup here with Benamin against Tyler Turbin. You yeah. never know what uh, Alexander the Great is going to be up to. And again, yeah, I'm he not will sure. stop at nothing. But this guy is just not legit. He's a cheater. They really are a match made in heaven or somewhere else, maybe. Some would say deserve each other, but you can't argue with the success. Alexander the Great, since his time as a manager here in Crossfire Wrestling, has uh, managed champion after champion after champion, and that's what he's looking for here in our Crossfire Wrestling Heavyweight Championship bout as he brings his protege for some time now, Ben Amin, to the ring against a Saturday Night Delight Tyler Turbin. And either way, Turbin is going to have his hands full with Ben Amin. He also has to keep an eye out for it outside of the group. Yeah, like what about me? Maybe outside interference with this guy. You know what? Maybe I help Turbin today. What do you think of that? Well, I would love to see that. It's certainly so, level off the playing field because right now Turbo is already at a disadvantage here. Alexander the Great just uh, oozes evil. And Amin is kind of cut from that same cloth. So, you know what? Like Chuck LaFleur, like Chuck LaFleur, look at, he wants a mic. But, you know what? Well, I'm trying to get uh, from the back here. He's pointing at us. He wants a mic. For the Saturday night delight. It's not a bad thing he doesn't have a mic because who wants to hear him uh, I don't shatter know. or Alexander the Great shatter anyway? I'm not sure, but you got Tyler Turva. Turbo with his classic entrance now, making his way to the ring. A huge fan favorite. Dangerously delicious. Dabber, dimple, dangerously delicious. Mr. 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 Young Fitz. Boy, Tyler Turbo has defended against everyone that he has faced successfully. I don't know if he's ever had a challenge quite like the one he has here this evening at the Meriton Community Center. He's facing Ben Amin, who, uh, love him or hate him, is an absolutely fantastic. Fantastic wrestler, very, very experienced wrestler who stooped to uh, anything to win, and accompanied by Alexander the Great. You know what, Chuck? I just don't trust these guys right here. You know, you got Alexander the Fake, who has, uh, you know, he he has uh, that cane, and I'm not, and they got that flag. You know, I'm not about cheating. You know that. the other thing too aside from the cane Ben Amin always brings that flag to the ring he has used that on numerous occasions that we've seen so all kinds of odds stacked against Tyler Turba heading into uh, his and latest he's a title cheater defense. he's a cheater on top of that he's a cheater Chuck you know oh, what Chuck, right at like you. this guy right here I would love I would love to get in the ring with him just one time I just there's something about him I just don't like you know it takes a lot to scare a guy from Northern Ontario but that look that Benamine just gave you wow yeah he he wants some of this look at Pinky look at him look at him
he may be the most hated individual in this whole I'm scouring the Crossfire crowd here at the American Community Center. And one fan, one fan, I think it's a relation that Benjamin or Alexander Great Chief. He is the reigning and defending Crossfire Wrestling Heavyweight Champion of the World, Stupid Freddy Tyler Tyler. And the introductions have been made. Tyler Turba, for quite some time now, Crossfire Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, displaying that belt. Will this be the last time he displays it in the middle of a Crossfire ring? We'll know in the next little while here. Ben Amin, he loves to chirp. What was that about with you and Ben Amin? He looked, not just at fan, he was looking directly at you, unpredictable, RJ. Yeah, and it, we've had a, a past, Ben Hameen and Alexander the Fake, uh, you know, when I took over Kong because I didn't like what they did with Kong and it took me some time to win Kong back over to to trust me and that I wasn't going to do something that, uh, you know, would hurt him. That's why I've sent him to the jungles of Konga to actually get back that mean streak so that we can get a number one contender match with this guy, you know, or with Turva or Ben Hameen or Rage or whoever Toaster because my guy Kong deserves it because Chuck he's been carrying this tag team him and Ben Hameen and Alexander the Fake he's been carrying those guys for for years have you told Kong that have you told Ben Hameen this as well if so well, I can understand why he has a beef with you well Ben Hameen and I started before everybody got here we had a chat uh, out here and uh, he asked where Kong was today and I said that's none of your business that's why especially here we're going to do the five, oh, $5 slap and ring of the bell yeah there's that $5 slap if you're not familiar with it uh, Ben Amin has done that over the years people can actually get to slapped if they pay 5 bucks to him he gives that and I don't think he got the 5 bucks from, Cody, uh, from uh, Tyler Turva here Unpredictable RJH as we are underway this is going to be a good match here, Chuck. I just, you know what? Just a little bit. Uh, I wish Kong was here today. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Might even things out a little bit here, but uh, Tyler Turva very quickly, though, going on the offense as before that bell rang even with that slap and taking full advantage of it. Into the corner, Tyler Turva. Oh, the agility of this guy, though. I don't oh. think he's. And now the uh, slap, and Ben Amin felt that one. Right through the beard. Turba. Oh, yeah. Two could play at this game. And I mean, now going for the punch block kick from Turba. What a match we are in for here for the Crossfire Wrestling Championship. This is what it's all about. These athletes train for their entire lives to get to the position. Turba and Benamin are in right now. And Benamin is going to again he's a tail it out of there. Like, look at him. He's like, look at. And look at, look at this guy here. You know, like Chuck, I just would love to, you know, I'm not a wrestler, but I would love to just punch this guy right in the mouth. Watch kind of like a penguin, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, kind of great. exactly. I agree with you. Except people like penguins. Exactly. And, like, look at him. Poor Benny Hamburger. Well, he's, uh, the count has started here. The referee. The Poor referee guy. Known as sideburns and Tyler Turba. Tripping right back at Benamin. Benamin's got to start focusing more on uh, his opponent here. He's got to get back in the ring before the count reaches 10. Is not going to because Turbo went to the ropes. But oh, look at Tyler Turbo signifying you're a chicken. Yeah, I, and uh, Ben Hameen, usually he cheats, right? Like that's his that's his MO is he cheats all the time, right? He has Still been known to, to do that. Yeah, on several, several, well, what are we saying, several? How about on every occasion that he has been in the ring? Well, he's back in there now, taking his sweet time, though. He's trying to line up Tyler Turbert for a punch. Turbert ducks. And now Benamin gets out of that. Ducks, chop. Ooh, those solid chops. Oh. Rake of the back of Tyler Turba here. Again, Benamin is ruthless. He will do anything and everything required to win. Oh. 
Look at he's just clawing his face. Like, look at. You can't imagine the pain. What I mean now. With Tyler Turvin in the far corner. Back to the offense. Here comes. Oh. Oh, that's solid right hand. Lethal, lethal. Now the big boot. The curly pointed boots to the throat of Tyler Turba. He has to break. And just, just not nice, right? Well, no, not in the least. Tyler Turba now with a rough go here. But great somersault. Didn't mean thought he threw him under the ring. Turba now able to do that move that uh, very few can do. Gets himself back in quickly. Oh, nice slap yeah, to the face. Surprises Benamine. And another. Benamine now up against the ropes. A solid right from Tyler Turbo. One more time from Mama. And here it comes. Winds it up. And bam. Benamine into the ropes. Turbo now. Some momentum. Oh. Up and oh, over. Oh, right out of the match. Right out of the ring, Chuck. Falling onto the floor here at the Meriton Community Center. Alexander the Great coming over to see how his henchman, Benamine, is. What a championship match here. This is for the heavyweight title, Chuck. Turbo now with all the momentum. Boy, you've been up in that crossfire ring. You know how high it is, what a fall that was. Turbo now, I was wondering if he was going to dive out of the ring. Alexander the Great getting Benamine out of harm's way, though. Now, Alexander the Great, you know what? You talk about Alexander the Great and uh, what a uh, despicable human being he can be. Look what he's doing here. He's taking the focus away from Benamine and he's chirping Tyler Turba. Benamine able to get enough of a recuperation time in after that to take advantage of it and go back on the offense outside the ring. And he takes it outside of the ring because that's how he can win, Chuck, is that he, he'll use the count to his advantage. And here comes, oh, a chop, a chop from Benamine. Onto the chest of Tyler Turva. Here comes a second one now. Tyler Turva. He gets out of the way right onto the railing. That separates the fans from our competitors. Goes the uh, right hand of Benamine. Let's see if Tyler Turva can take advantage here. And he's going to. He slams that, I'm sure now, injured hand of Benamine into the ring post. And a little woo action going on there from Tyler Turva. Look at Alexander the fake. Look at he wants to get involved. He's coming around his back. Turva breaks the 10 count. Back outside the ring. Oh, solid right. Right to the chin of Benamine. Going to lose a few whiskers, but right to the eyes by Benamine. Again, legal or not, Benamine has that in his bag of tricks. And a rake to the back here. Man, that has got to hurt. Once again, you know, illegal stuff. That's the only way he can. It's the only way he can win, Chuck. Good percentage of uh, his weapons in a match would be considered of the illegal variety here. As he slams Tyler Turva to the floor at the Merritt Community Center, Benamine now breaks the ten count right back outside to administer more punishment to our Crossfire Wrestling Champion Tyler Turva, and uh, of course distracting the referee. Something he does very, very well is Alexander the Great on the far side. Benamine now on the uh, side of where we are uh, located. Another, boy, the back of Tyler Turba is just covered in welts and redness and just agony. He's in right now with Benamine on the outside in uh, full control. But uh, he'll have to get things back inside the ring soon or they risk the count out coming up here. I get back in the ring, right? I mean, Turba, his advantage is in the ring, not outside. He's not a brawler. Right, Turva is all about technique, right, Chuck? Technique, skill, finesse, high-flying capabilities. No, I don't think he wants to get toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Benamine, but another stop with that uh, big boot from Benamine. Trying to line him up for another turn. Uh, Turva is down here. He's uh, out of our line of sight at the moment, uh, but we have not seen his head pop up for a while now as the referee takes... Uh, a close-up look at Tyler Turva. And Ben Hameen is, now he's working the crowd. He's telling them Allah, Allah, Allah. Well, and, if I, and if I had Kong here, I'd be going Goomba, Goomba, Goomba. As uh, 
Alexander the Great looking on now. He's standing right there. I'm surprised Alexander the Great didn't get involved and give a little extra cane shot He's maybe gonna, to Tyler Turbo. If the referee's standing there, he won't. But as soon as the referee, as soon as the referee, then he'll give him that shot, right? You know what? We can't see Tyler Turbo at all. He is down on the floor and a look of concern amongst all of the uh, Crossfire Wrestling fans. And, uh, and Benamine now, he's going to go whether he's hurt or not. He's got Tyler Turba back up and slides him back into the ring. Wow, Turba looks to be in bad shape, unpredictable, RJ. Yes, he does. He actually does look in bad shape. He's going to try for the pin, pinfall here. One, two, and oh. wow, that was almost it. We almost had a new champion, Chuck. Oof, that close, that close. Well, Benamine now, boy, does he have control of this match all of a sudden. Are we going to see a new Crossfire Wrestling Champion before this match is through? It's almost the, the lifeless body now of Tyler Turva that Benamine has. Yeah, Turva doesn't look like... He, oh, look at, you know, look at what Alexander the Fake is doing. Look at, he's holding Turva against the ropes. Look at... And like, again, precision timing. And uh, Benamine's distracting our referee as soon as the referee cheater, turns like, around. Again, he's a cheater. Alexander like, the Great cheater. stops. Like, cheater. Like, I, 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 Chuck, I got to go. I got to get over there and help Turba, I think. Well, you do what you have to do, my friend, because right now Turba needs all the help that he can get. One count, two count, oh, and no. two and a half. Turva needs somebody in his corner. Turba you know what? And I should have talked to Turva before this match started to say listen i need to have your back because but then again i understand because i represent kong but i want a shot at either one of these guys i want kong so it doesn't matter actually you know what i don't care who wins oh the punishment continually administered here by ben amin headbutts to the midsection now a stop Looks like a left leg injury here for Tyler Turba. So, yeah, now stopping on the right leg. You know, and that takes away a lot of the game plan for Tyler Turba. We talk about his high-flying capabilities. He's got uh, an injured leg, maybe even two here now. He's not even able to get up on his feet, let alone try any high-flying maneuvers. Did you see what Ben Hameen did? He just threw his sweat all over the referee. Well, that's not right. Oh, look at now he's got well, almost that you camel clutch. You wonder what he might be setting up for here, Rob. Look at this. He's got his face. There's Turva's a, not going to. No, Turva can't give up here. You know what? I don't, he can't. I can't see Turva giving up unless he's absolutely unconscious and out of it and doesn't know what he's doing. But Turva now looking for uh, looking for a second win, looking for a third win, a fourth a win. Cheater. Looking for some strength now. Looking for inspiration from the fans wherever he could find it. Back up to his feet for the first time in a long time in this match is Tyler Turba. Trying to break the incredible, incredible pain threshold that he has been undergoing here from Benamin. Backs Benamin into the corner. That breaks the hold right back to it, though. Oh, there. Turba again into the corner. He broke that hold, but Turva doesn't look. He looks really kind of out on his feet, Chuck. Well, I don't know if he knows what day of the week this is yet. Benamin back again trying to get those fingers in and stretch the facial features of Tyler Turba. Turba again into the corner, but Benamin right back on the offense here. Looking to and does slams the head of Tyler Turba into the turnbuckle. Benamin now. Flying there and into. Oh. Well, you have to think. When is he going to attempt the camel clutch? He's going now for the pin cover. One, two, and oh. Turba again. He's not a champion for any small reason. Tyler Turba has more wherewithal than uh, most people have in uh, their lifetime, but he's able to kick out somehow. That's three times he's kicked out on like two and a half, Chuck. How much more can Turba endure, though? I don't know, but I'll tell you, this is the... With having Alexander the fake on the outside there, right? You don't know what he's going to do. He's capable of doing anything. Solid right. Now left to the midsection. Now double chop to the shoulder blades of Turba. Benamine in full control of this match at this point. 
headbutt to the shoulder of Tyler Turba. He is focused on every part of Tyler Turba's body, pretty much RJH, from head to toe at this point. Ben Hameen is a mean man, right? And he's a cheater. He goes like he's just a cheater, right? Very skilled cheater, though, but uh, now, and this may be the opportunity. Tyler Turbis, he's able to duck out of that splash attempt by Benamine. Get some shoulder blocks into the far corner. Three, four, five, six of them in a row. Himself a little breather, maybe. Taking the window to Benamine. Tyler Turbis seems to have found it, but no, nope, it oh. looks like. And up goes, nope, block. Oh, he got him good on the leg there, Right Chuck. to the hammy of Benamine goes Tyler Turbis, oh. and then a kick. Smart move. Bigger opponent. Get him off his feet if you can. Oh. Another kick. Attacking that left leg now. Then I mean. Oh, that's hard on the hamstring. Oh, there it is again. Great comeback uh, here so far. Short term at least by Tyler Turba. He's going to work on that left hamstring now. And Ben Amin suddenly in a great deal of agony. I don't know if that's going to be enough to make him uh, tap at this point. Rolling him over in a half Boston Crab here. Ben Amin, is this going to be oh the boy. end? Look at that cane that Alexander the fake has. Imploring him. You know. Ben Amin can get to the ropes. That will break the move. Tyler Turva has this match all but one, except for the tap out from Ben Amin. It looks like Ben's going to tap, Chuck. It's close. Is he going to? Is he going to be able to reach? Oh, and he does the reach the ropes. Turva has to break the hold. Saved by the ropes is Ben Amin. What a matchup this has been now. It was all been a mean for the longest time. Tyler Turva now in control. That leg badly damaged, it would appear, of Benamine on the left leg. Stomping away on it is Tyler Turva. Benamine not able to get up to his feet. That hurt. Benamine's leg is hurt, right? So, oh, Turva's going up to the top of the ropes. He's going up 16 uh, feet, Chuck. going to maybe see a handstand coming from Tyler Turva. Don't forget the uh, brutal punishment he took, though. No, Benamine back up to his feet very, very quickly here. Double chops. Turva's still up on the top turnbuckle, though. Benamine. Oh, no. Uh-oh, brings him up. Where's he going to land him? Slam and... Is this going to be it? Is Benamin going to go for the pinfall here? Or no, to the ropes, trying for the splash, and connects. Referee down, one, two, and. Oh, we almost had a new champ. We all, you know what? We almost had a new champ. Benamin you know calling what? Here for comes, Alexander the Great you know now. What? Alexander the Great's the coming over you know here. What? You want some of this? You. Do you want some of this? You stop it, because you know what? I'll take this off right now. Let's go. What is you up with go this? Some? Alexander the Great coming over here to talk to you. You're doing yeah. commentary for the love of God. You know what? Again, distracting. Alexander the Great now takes the belt from uh, outside of the ring. Tyler Turbin now. Surprise, quick reversal, roll up, oh. one, two. We almost had a new, we almost, uh, Turva almost retained his title. Turva gets up, but you can see his right leg is bothering him. In a mean now, the strong forearm. Picks up the title belt. There's a reason Alexander the Great brought that to the ring, and I don't think it was to show it off, maybe be used as a weapon. Ducking out of that, though, is Tyler Turba right back to the injured leg of Ben Amin. Referee picks up the belt. That's got to get out of play here. All right, Turba's going to go back at it now. By enormous pressure on the injured leg of Ben Amin. Again, the X Factor. Outside the ring, Alexander the Great. Dragging Benamine back to the middle of the ring is Tyler Turba. Kick out, shoved to the rope. Roll up now from Benamine. Turba's shoulders down. Oh, one, we two. We almost had a new champ, Chuck. We almost had a new champ. Holy mackerel, we are coming close from both of these competitors here. Either retention of the belt by Tyler Turba or a new champion in Benamine. This match could go either way. Benamine now setting Tyler Turba up. Slams oh, him hard down to the canvas. He's and going again. for the pin. One, two, and three. And a three count. What? Say it is it so. Unpredictable RJH. We have a brand new, new Crossfire Wrestling Champion. Look at 
We have a new heavyweight title champion. And now getting getting Tyler Turba in the camel clutch. There's no need for oh this. Oh my, like why is he doing this? Benamin has won the match. Ring the, ring the bell, ring the bell. This is over. Talk about floating, talk about unnecessary. Tyler Turbo was pinned in the middle of the ring. What a finish to this match. I can't believe it, Chuck. We have a new champion. Unbelievable finish. I can't believe it. Tyler Turbo, who has been just the face of Crossfire Wrestling throughout his tenure as the heavyweight champion, his reign comes to an end, and the reign of perhaps terror of Benamin begins. Like, Turbo doesn't know where he is. You can see glassy eyed he's walking out like of the he ring has here. no idea where he is. He had to be helped out with the assistance of our referee. Cuts the effort by Tyler I, Turba. I can't believe this cheater has won the title. I can't believe it. Well, this is an unbelievable turn of events here at Crossfire Wrestling's Mayhem. Like, and they're looking right over at you now, Unpredictable RJ. Yeah, the grin with the smirk what? on Alexander the Great. You know what, Chuck? I need to have this right here because I don't know. I don't trust these guys, right? Well, like, nor should you. They seem to uh, like, be rubbing it into your hair. Cheaters, right? You know, like cheaters. Like, look at the cheater. He's like, look at the cheater. Well, you know what? Cheaters. I, you know what? I'd love to get this. You know what? Both that. these guys here. I'd like to give it to both those guys. Boy, oh boy, you know what? Both those guys, I'll tell you. You know, Chuck LeFleur. Those guys are cheaters, and that's all there are. I can't believe that they are rubbing it into you, of all people, who is our you know, ring announcer so, here. You know, Unpredictable RJ. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? RJ H attacked by Benamin. Attacked by Benamin. RJ H is in unbelievable pain here as Benamin continues a vicious assault with a chain. Our equipment flying all over the place. RJ H is down. I have never seen anything like this before as RJ H is going to need some medical attention here. Rob Hubbard, now Benamin being chased to the back of the ring. We have to get security out here. Oh my goodness, we've never seen the likes of this in a Crossfire Wrestling ring before. As RJH, the headphones go flying off him. The chair goes flying. He had that chain wrapped around his neck by Benamin. We have never seen the likes of this before in Crossfire Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, our apologies for what has just transpired here. My colleague, my friend, longtime friend, Rob Hubbard, unpredictable RJH. He looks as though he can't even breathe right now. That was a chain attack from behind, totally uncalled for by Benamin. My goodness, we are at a loss for words here. RJH doing a great job on the commentary. Benamin comes and blindsides him from behind. And we have uh, some medical attention coming here for Rob Hubbard, a legend in hockey circles in Niagara, being helped to his feet now here by our crew from Crossfire Wrestling. He doesn't know where he is right now. We have never seen anything like this transpire before. It's the crowd now giving a round of applause to RJH, Rob Hubbard. And we can only, at this point, if you can see this, I'm sure you can, the look of anguish and pain on Rob Hubbard I've never seen anything like this before where a commentator has been attacked by what a start for the championship reign here of Ben Amin. That's the first act that he does, is assaults our color commentator. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm at a loss for words. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Crossfire Wrestling with a new champion. Ben Amin defeating Tyler Turva and then an assault on the unpredictable RJH at our broadcast location. We've never seen the likes of this.